today we are going to be talking about five reasons mermaids might exist. These mythical creatures are said to be shy and wary of humans. Some still say that if you stand near the ocean at night, you might hear the inviting songs from the sailors and pirates' tales, or even catch a glimpse of a human-shaped body with a fish tail glittering in the moonlight. Because the seven seas are so mysterious and only 5% of the planetary ocean is explored, nobody can really say for sure whether mermaids are real or not. But before we get on to that, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. It helps us out a lot. Also, make sure to stay until the end to see proof that mermaids might actually be real. And without any further ado, let's get on to the video. Jeju Mermaids A mermaid's age is just a number. Flipping the traditional South Korean gender roles, the Haiyan Yo, or sea women, are female divers in the Korean province of Jeju. Known for their independent spirit, iron will, and determination, the Haiyan Yeo are representative of the semi-matriarchal family structure of Jeju. The Jeju mermaids of Jeju Sea Island are responsible for the community's fishing duties, earning their fantastical nicknames thanks to the practice of free diving for their prey. Jeju's diving tradition dates back to 434 AD. Originally, diving was an exclusively male profession, with the exception of women who worked alongside their husbands. The first mention of female divers in literature does not come until the 17th century when a monograph of Jeju geography describes them as jam nyeo, literally, diving women. Unfortunately, the traditional practice is nearing extinction due to the younger generation increasingly leaving the island to work in the bigger cities. This, of course, has left only elderly fisherwomen to go on as the Jeju mermaids, although their age makes them even more incredible. Tenshu Kyusha Shrine Be careful where you are fishing, it may have drastic consequences. If the legends surrounding this hideous little creature found in Japan's Tenshu Kyusha Shrine are to be believed, it may be the oldest mermaid on this list. As the story goes, this creature is older than 1,000 years. According to the story, the mermaid first appeared to Prince Shotoku at Lake Biwa. With its last breaths, it told a story of woe. The miserable creature had been a fisherman who trespassed to fish in protected waters, and was now transformed into a hideous beast as punishment. Having learned his lesson and wanting to be an example after his death, the mermaid asked the prince to find a temple to display his horrible, mummified remains as a very strange object lesson in the sanctity of life. Notably different from Western ideas of beautiful mermaids luring sailors into the watery depths with their charms, the Japanese mermaid of law, known as the Ningyo, was often depicted as a pointy-toothed little monster, sometimes even sporting claws or horns. So if you stop by Tenshu Kyusha Shrine, leave your pole at home. Big Bend Power Plant Manatee Viewing Area Probably one of the least and last expected places to see a living mermaid is in the wastewater pools of this Florida power plant. Every year when the temperature of the water surrounding Tampa Bay's Big Bend power plant rises above 68 degrees Fahrenheit because of the heated wastewater leaving the discharge canal, manatees, otherwise known as the cows of the sea, gather around a special viewing area for tourists. It is widely believed that the myth of the mermaid is primarily inspired by sailors' sightings of fleshy sea cows gracefully floating beneath the waves. A large group of the animals continue to gather outside of this Florida power plant as the heated wastewater from the facility drains out and creates a comfortable environment for them. From such a close vantage point, they are definitely some unattractive mythical creatures. But for sure, their natural beauty is worth visiting. Wikiwachi. For over 70 years, Wikiwachi Springs has captured the imagination of people of all ages with its spectacular beauty and fun things to do. Nestled along Florida's nature coast, it's a must-see national treasure. Wikiwachi Springs State Park is open 365 days a year to dazzle and delight your entire family. Plan your trip today to the enchanting city where mermaids live. Considered the city of mermaids in the state of Florida, Wikiwachi has been the home to a live mermaid show since 1947. Real women show their sparkling tails and swim around a giant aquarium that is fed by a natural spring. 
The mermaids, women dressed in fancy outfits with fins about their legs, can be viewed in an aquarium-like setting. There are currently 15 female mermaid performers and 4 male performers. The attraction includes a Buccaneer Bay water park, animal shows, and boat rides. Even the mayor of the little town is a former performer from the city, which maybe makes Wikiwachi the only town in the world to be ruled by a mermaid. The Little Mermaid The statue was commissioned in 1909 by Carl Jacobson, son of the founder of Carlsberg, who had been fascinated by a ballet about the fairy tale in Copenhagen's Royal Theatre, and asked the ballerina, Ellen Price, to model for the statue. The sculptor, Edvard Eriksson, created the bronze statue, which was unveiled on the 23rd of August, 1913. The statue's head was modelled after Price, but as the ballerina did not agree to model in the nude, the sculptor's wife, Ellen Eriksson, was used for the body. This landmark has been damaged and defaced many times since the mid-1960s for various reasons, but has been restored each time. This is, of course, the main representation of a mermaid from which most all other mermaids are judged. The famous Copenhagen statue was inspired by the Hans Christian Andersen tale of a young and naive mermaid falling in love with the surface world. Spoiler alert! A beautiful story about self-sacrifice. The end of the original tale is not that happy as the Disney animated movie. The statue is the essential vision of a mermaid as the Western world knows them, a classic which inspired a lot of people to create art. Well guys, that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Which story and place inspire you the most to believe in the existence of the mermaids? Please let us know in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe too because it really helps us out a lot. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.